let me you know share with you a very interesting lengthy con- conversation that one of the companions had with our fourth imam imam zainul abidin alayhi salatu wassalam this is actually a psychological advice that imam is giving to this fellow about how to deal with other people and maintain the relationships and friendship although the advice is of a general type but we can focus and use that same formula and and the solution when we talk about relationship between uh, the family and this is a narration from our fifth imam imam muhammad al baqir alayhi salatu wassalam He, he is the Ravi, he is the narrator. He says, one day, a fellow by the name of Muhammad bin Muslim as Zuhri was known to be someone like a Sufi type those days. And he came, he says, one day he came to my father, وَهُوَ كَثِيبٌ حَزِينٌ with a very sad face. And Imam looked at him and Imam said, مَا بَالَكَ مَغْمُومٌ O oh, Zuhri, what happened to you? Why do you look so sad, depressed? And he says, Ya ibn Rasulullah, humumun wa humum. O the son of the Prophet, yes, I have a gham and a ham. You know, I'm sad and I have issues and concerns. Tatawala alayya. He says, you know, I have been actually tested by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by those who are jealous of what I have been given by Allah and those who have these uh, eyes on my wealth and even those whom I actually hope to be good to me and even those whom I have been charitable towards them all these things happen but the, at the end our friendship doesn't you know last and so this is my ham and gham my you know um, sorrow and concern. So Imam mentioned something initially as a very a brief statement where he says اِحْفِزْ عَلَيْكَ بِلِسَانِكَ Most of the problems start with lisan. Imam says control your tongue. Tamlik bihi ikhwanak. Control your tongue. If you are able to control what you say and how you say it you will be able to maintain your friends. But then Imam says, something, this is for us. For everyone in any situation, especially in husband-wife relationship. He says, Ya Zuhri, Amma alayka an taj'ala al-Muslimin minka, minka bi manzilati ahli baytik. Imam says, O Zuhri, Zuhri, you should consider the people that you interact with as members of your family, then, is, then look at them. فَتَجْعَلْ كَبِيرُهُمْ بِمَنْزِلَةِ وَالِدِكَ If you see somebody who is older than you, then put him in the place of your father. In your mind. وَتَجْعَلْ صَغِيرُهُمْ بِمَنْزِلَةِ وَلَدِكَ If he is younger than you, then put him in the place of your son. وَتَجْعَلْ تِرُبُكَ and if they are of same you know, age as you, then put him in the place of your brother. If you look at people from that perspective, Imam says, Whom among them will you be unjust to? Who among them would you do bad dua for them? And who among them is the one who would like to, that you would like to expose them because of their weaknesses? You wouldn't do that. Because now you are treating them like a father or a son or a brother. And this is where we come to the beauty of, you know, we don't really have to go here and there. Books on psychology and this and that. This is the psychology coming from the imam. But then imam says, if you start doing this, treating people this way, then remember there is another problem. Even when you do good things, there is always bala attached with it. 
He says, when you start doing this, and you have good friends, shaitan comes to you and says, oh, you are very good. And once you start thinking this way, you might reverse this whole process. And so Imam says, وَإِنْ عَرَضَ عَلَيْكَ إِبْلِيسِ لَعْنَهُ اللَّهِ بِعَنَّ لَكَ فَضْلًا عَلَىٰ أَحَدٍ مِنْ أَهْلِ الْقِبْلَةِ but if you start becoming good and shaitan comes to you and plants this idea in your mind that you are better than everyone else, then Imam says, Fanzur, in order to reform yourself, amend your own attitude, Imam says, then look at those that you interact with. فَإِنْ كَانَ أَكْبَرُ مِنْكَ If they are older than you, whom you put in the place of the father, and then you compare that person to yourself and you say, فَقُلْ قَدْ سَبَقَنِي بِالْإِيمَانِ وَالْعَمَلِ الصَّالِحِ Well, this person is older than me. It means he lived as a moment longer than me. It means that he had more opportunity to, to do good deeds than me. Because I'm younger than him. فَهُوَ خَيْرٌ مِنِّي Therefore, he is better than me. Remember Shaitan comparing himself to Adam, he says, Ana khayrun minhu. This is where Imam is saying, look at the older person and say, well, he has been a mu'min longer than you, had opportunities to do good more than you, therefore he is better than you, and this arrogance will go. But if the fellow is younger than you, Imam says, reverse the psychology here. Say to yourself, سَبَقْتُهُ بِالْمَعَافِ وَالظُّنُوبِ I am older than him. I had more opportunity to commit sins. But he is younger than me. فَهُوَ خَيْرٌ مِنِّي Therefore he is better than me. وَإِنْ كَانَ تِرْبَكْ But if the fellow is of the same age as yours, then Imam says, say to yourself, Ana ala yaqeenin min dhambi. I am absolutely sure about my own mistakes and sins that I have committed. Wa fi shakkin min amrihi. But I have doubts about what he does. I'm not sure about him. So why should I, you know, give prevalence to the shak over the yaqeen? And this is where I would say he is better than me. Imam says, when you do this, فَإِنَّكَ This is the fourth Imam's guarantee. فَإِنَّكَ إِذَا فَعَلْتَ ذَلِكْ That if you do this, سَحَّلَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْكَ عَيْشَكَ Allah will make your عيش and your life good. وَكَثُرُ أَصْدِقَاوْكَ Your friends will increase. وَفَرِحْتَ بِمَا يَكُونُ مِنْ بِرِّهِمْ you will be pleased with the goodness that comes from them to you. وَلَمْ تَأْسَفَ عَلَى مَا يَكُونَ مِنْ جَفَاتِهِمْ And if they are not good to you, still you will not care about it anymore. Salawat wa nekbara. Take this spiritual prescription, you know, prescription from the Imam. Our inter-human relationship. Um, use it in any situation that you find your, yourself, especially in a family life. You know the new bride, she comes into the family, well look at the father-in-law, he doesn't take, replace your father, but he is in, consider him to be in the place of your father. The mother-in-law in the same way, the brother-in-law in the same way. The attitudes will change. The husband who is marrying a wife, when he looks at his own in-laws, same situation. Look at the father-in-law, place him in the place of your father. Respect him in that way. Respect the mother-in-law in that way. And this is where we will get the sukoon that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has guaranteed in, in the ayat from Surah Al-Rum. Salawat wa